Words matter. Words have power, material effect, visceral intensity. And when you use a word that has an extensive and deeply painful history, you shouldn't be surprised when people get upset. Earlier this month, actress Gwyneth Paltrow was in Paris, attending a concert given by pal Jay-Z and Kanye West. Referencing perhaps the most popular song off the album, Watch the Throne, Paltrow tweeted, in words, in Paris for real. Perhaps more troubling than her casual use of the word is the photo she attached to the tweet. It shows Paltrow on stage at the concert with three black males. Needless to say, the tweet caused a public uproar, forcing Paltrow to defend herself, but not, we should note, apologize. Paltrow issued yet another tweet suggesting her use of the N-word was justified because Jay-Z and Kanye use it. Hold up. It's the title of the song. Paltrow missed the point. Rapper Q-Tip offered this reaction. Paltrow should have offered a, if I offended anyone, I'm truly sorry, as a person who loves black people and understand there's a scope of black folk that exist beyond the ones she partied with in Paris who are still dealing with the complexities of their circumstances. Meanwhile, rapper Nas believes we should give Miss Paltrow a pass. I will slap the out of somebody for Gwyneth Paltrow. She's the homie. She's cool. If Gwyneth, Gwyneth gets a pass, yo, real people get a pass, man. We know what this is. Gwyneth Paltrow's a real My fellow Americans, what you're seeing here are the internal debates that occur quite frequently within African-American culture. On the one hand is the acknowledgement that this is the most heinous word in the history of American vocabularies of character and of assessment of another people, African-American people, that is. And on the other hand, the argument that this has been used as a term of endearment for black people to take the venom outside of the viper of the N-word and drain it once and for all. So now that rappers put it on a $15 CD and it gets circulated around the globe, is it the same as Richard Pryor or Red Fox previously using it within the confines of their own culture? It's a big question.